let's continue our lecture video in differential calculus now this time we have the topic derivatives inverse trigonometric functions now here are the formulas that will serve as a pattern for us to solve the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions the first one we have the derivative of arc sine u is equal to the derivative of u over square root of 1 minus u squared so we have here the derivative of the angle u next for the derivative of arc cosine u it is equal to uh, it's similar with the arc sine u which is derivative of u over dx over square root of 1 minus u squared the only difference is that it is negative next the derivative of arc tan u is equal to the derivative of u over 1 plus u squared and for the derivative of arc cotangent u this is equal to negative of du dx over 1 plus u squared for the derivative of arc second u we have the derivative of u over u square root of u squared minus 1 and for the derivative of arc cosecant u that is equal to negative du dx over u square root of u squared minus 1 now let's apply these uh, formulas in our example so we have the first example find the derivative of arc sine for x now here the pattern that we are going to use is the derivative of arc sine u is equal to the derivative of u over 1 minus u squared so from our example the u here is the angle for x and the derivative of u is equal to 4 therefore for the derivative of arc sine for x dy that is equal to the derivative of u which is 4 all over the square root of 1 minus the square of u which is 4x squared therefore the answer here is 4 all over square root of 1 minus 16x squared okay. so that is the answer for number one next for number two for number two find the derivative of arctan 3 phi so we're going to use the pattern for arctan <coughs> for the derivative of arctan u that is equal to the derivative of u over 1 plus u squared. So here, the u here in the problem is 3 phi. <coughs> and the derivative of u here is 3. Therefore, from the pattern, the derivative of theta now here is du which is 3 lower 1 plus 3 phi squared that is equal to 3 over 1 plus 9 phi squared okay so that is for example number 2 next for example number three find the derivative of arctan x over a again the pattern that we will use is arctan u for the derivative of arctan u we have the answer derivative of u over one plus u squared so from our example we have the u here as x over a the derivative of u is equal to 1 over a now having the 
derivative of u, let's go now to the pattern, the answer. So, for the derivative of r of tan u, we have 1 over a, so the du, all over 1 plus u, which is x over a squared. And that is equal to 1 over a over 1 plus x squared over a squared. And that is 1 over a all over a squared plus x squared all over a squared. And then if we are dividing the numerator, uh, a fraction numerator and a fraction denominator, let's copy the numerator multiplied with the reciprocal of the denominator. Okay, then we can cancel out A there. And that is equal to uh, A over A squared plus X squared. So that is the answer. Now, uh, if you missed the point here that A is equal to constant, so here it is. A is constant. Okay, so that is for number 3. Next, for number 4, we need to find the derivative of arc sine 1 minus 2v. Again, the pattern that we will use is that for arc sine, which is the derivative of arc sine u is equal to the derivative of the angle, derivative of u, all over square root of 1 minus u squared. So in the example, u here is 1 minus 2v. Derivative of u is 0 minus 2. Therefore, du here is negative 2. Now for the derivative, we now have so dx now is equal to negative 2 lower square root of 1 minus the u which is 1 minus 2v squared then that is negative 2 lower square root of 1 minus what is the square of 1 minus 2v that is 1 minus 4v plus 4b squared. Okay. Then distribute the negative sign. 1 minus 1 plus 4b minus 4b squared. It is equal to negative 2. So, cancel out 1 minus 1. So, what's left here is positive 4b minus 4b squared. Negative 2. We bring out 4. Uh, 4b. 1 minus b. Okay. Therefore, we have their negative 2 over, what is square root of 4? That is 2. Square root of b, 1 minus b. Okay, let's continue that here. So we have cancel out 2. So the answer now is negative 1 over square root of b, 1 minus b. So that is the answer for number 4. Then next, we have the example number 5. Now for example number 5, we have there x is equal to arc 
tan squared t. When our, when we are using arctan, of course we are going to use the arctan pattern. But how can we solve this if the arctan has a power? So again, we will be using the power formula. That is n u n minus one derivative of u because this one is similar to arctan t squared t. So we have there dx now for the solution. So dx is equal to uh, using the power formula first. So we have there bring down to okay, arctan t raised to 2 minus 1 and then the derivative of what is inside the parenthesis the derivative of arctan t which is we are going to apply this one so derivative of arctan t is the du the derivative of the angle t which is 1 so derivative of t is 1 then 1 plus what is the u that we use here it is t the angle t squared okay and then so the final answer now here is 2 r tan t and over 1 plus t squared so that is the answer for number five.